the spotlight presented by the youth channel and we would like to thank all of you for tuning in the spotlight is a talk show covering topics that affect the daily lives of individuals across society i'm david martinez and this is my lovely co-host ebony harper <laughs> This week on The Spotlight. Well, hello, welcome back to The Spotlight here on the YouTube channel. And we want to continue our conversation on human rights. Now, economic inequality has become one of the greatest social disease of our time, threatening the human rights of all people. Mm -hmm, indeed. Oh, oh, hi, welcome back. I've recovered from that last segment over Pence, Trump, and Sessions. Well, I don't even care about them, but I've recovered here. And did you go through a wardrobe change during the oh, break? Oh, yeah, 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 I had to, you know, get all glamour up. <laughs> I look cute, you know. You're looking good, girl. Thank I can't you, believe you, you had to do a wardrobe change while I was in Africa. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> but what you did say, Ebony, is true, because I can't believe it myself. But I didn't know about this either, because 80 of the richest people on the planet now own as much as bottom half of the po world's population. Now, did you know about this? No, I didn't. Neither did I at all. But in fact, seven out of 10 people live in countries where the gap between the rich and poor is greater than it was 30 years ago. And this is very discouraging, David, because of Article 22 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, everyone is entitled to their realization of the economics social and cultural rights dispensable for the her or his dignity. Now, what is your thoughts on that? What do you think? Well, we also have to remember about what Article 22 says on this, because everyone is entitled to realization when it comes to the human rights movement yes. here. So that's one thing we also have to keep in mind. We also have to remember that the human rights movement as a whole has been slow to the address of the implications of this alarming trend and everything else that we have seen today around the, around the globe here. This, this week on The Spotlight. Spotlight. I, I had experience with bullying and so it was through social media and so, and it was just not, it was a bad experience I've had in the past through Facebook, Instagram, and I'm pretty sure Snapchat as well. And how did you overcome it? The way I overcome it, it wasn't easy. It was like, I had, what I did was, I had blocked the people off of the social media sites that I don't connect with anymore through Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And that was all I did. But it took some time to recover that, re that moment that I've had with cyberbullying here. But, and it wasn't easy, but that's how it was. But unfortunately, that does not work for everyone else here. Because online bullying has become so responsible for many suicides in the past decade. According to a study on cyberbullying by the Cyberbullying Research Center, cyberbullying was responsible for an uptick between suicides between the ages of 10 to 20 years old in the past decade alone. Mm. Wow. The yeah. research studies also shows that besides the suicide, many adolescents had either thought of suicide or tried to commit suicide at one point or another. As a result of cyberbullying, mm -hmm. leading many parents to worrying about the effects of the modern technology and the social media on the minds of children and adolescents today. Okay, so are you, would you allow your children to use the technology that we have today or not? I mean, they could use it. It's not the technology, it's just more or less the people who hold the technology. So I wouldn't blame it on the people. Mm -hmm. So yes, I would give my kids technology if they use it in the right way and they know how to use it. Yeah, because you know, the thing is, if I were to do that, I would probably would not give the kids their technology that they use. Because you know, there's a point where they could lose their devices very easily if you're 10 years old, or no matter what age you are, you just got to be careful in how you use it and just try to display it because you never know 
if you'll lose it or someone could snatch it out from you and you may never see it again, you'll have to go to your parents and ask for money because technology is expensive these days here. This, this week, week on, on The Spotlight. Spotlight. Did you know that if you overwork your body, you could have severe injuries due to straining of your muscles and ligaments? Well, if you didn't know that, that's one of the facts that can hurt so bad. Ouch. Another fact I also found is, drum roll please. If you take in too much water in your body, you can affect your blood cells and decrease your sodium level, which can lead to death. Very scary though, hard to believe it's true, but this is how we can die from drinking too much water. The water and sodium level in this picture is seen here in our bodies are normally maintained in equilibrium, but if we drink too much water, the equilibrium is thrown off and our body in, and its blood cells are filled up with too much, too much oxygen from the water, causing them to implode and take out the blood vessels, resulting in our bodies to literally drown. Here's a video that explains in depth the negative effects of drinking too much water, and it may shock you just a little bit. Take a look. Water is amazing. It's necessary for life to exist, makes you healthier, and it's incredibly refreshing, especially after an intense workout. But is water intoxication a real thing? Can you drink too much water? We're often told to drink around eight glasses of water a day to stay healthy. Eight glasses of water? Eight glasses of water every day? Just to stay healthy? He must be a good artist after all, I gotta say. But there's more. There's more. Continue watching. Hi everyone, I'm David Martinez. And I'm Ebony Hopper. Join me and David as we shed light and discuss issues that affect the daily lives of individuals across society on our new show, The Spotlight. Oh yes, so remember to tune in every week here on the Youth Channel for our discussion, plus wait for this. What? Lots of fun, ah. partying, and humor here on the Spotlight. Yes, and also be sure to follow and subscribe on the youth channel on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and make sure you watch us every week. And we will see you on the, the Spotlight. Spotlight.